qualitative analysis of trusses is extremely important where we determine member forces without actually relying on complex mathematics. Here we can determine tension, compression or zero force members or with the help of simple calculations we can determine the maximum force as well. In this tutorial I will solve two examples where I will find out maximum force and that would be either tension or compression. This is part of the Institution of Structural Engineers Certificate course in Structural Behavior. You can use these tutorials to prepare for that examination. So let's dive into our first example. In our first example, we have to find out the maximum force in the pin jointed uh, truss where diagonals are inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal cord members and each joint is loaded with 100 kN uh, load. There are four options to choose from. These all are numbers and it's very difficult to say which option is correct. So you actually have to solve this in order to be able to reach to right answer. If you want to try this question first before watching this tutorial, click on this link to follow the quiz or scan this barcode to take the quiz. The most simple thing here is that for finding reactions, it's not a difficult job. Otherwise, we normally use uh, summation of vertical forces equal to zero, horizontal forces equal to zero, and summation of moment equal to zero. These are equilibrium equations to find out reactions. Here, we just have straight away seven points where load is applied. I call the left side as A and right side as B and the reactions are VA and VB. Now you don't need lots of calculations to find out the reactions. You can see there are seven points where, now these are all equilateral triangles, which means that length is L here and length is L here. They are inclined at 60 degrees and at the bottom we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine panels. At the top, uh, I have, I think eight panels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At seven points, I have this load, so 700 kN, 700 divided by two is 350 kN. So both sides, I have reactions as 350 kN. So that is clear. Now, where does this maximum load uh, happen? This load will happen at the center point and center point is this point. So the load is going to happen over here. Exactly, I'm not clear where this load is going to happen. We have to take an inclined section like this, taking three and a half panels from the top and four and a half panels from the bottom. Loads are 350 kN. When we take a cut, then after that we will find out the member forces but here i want to find out the depth of the truss which is h this is half of the equilateral triangle so i will say that this length is l over 2 the angle is 60 i've taken this information from here and this is l and here the height is h so i will simply say sine of 60 degrees sine means uh, opposite so opposite is h opposite side to 60 is h divided by hypotenuse is l so h over l and from here i can say that h is equal to l sine 60 degrees and you know that sine 60 degrees is equal to under root 3 over 2 so value of h is l into under root 3 over 2 now remember this thing it will be really very important when we will solve the question now we have taken a free body cut to this x x uh, position and that free body cut will help us to find out the member forces so let's have a look at that free body cut this is the free body cut vb is equal to 350 kN, and you remember from the previous bit that h was equal to l under root 3 over 2 
So let me first of all find out the force in diagonal, although that force will not control force in D. So we are looking for force in this one. I will say that D and the diagonal has to be a downward force. The reason is that we have 350 kilonewton, which is upwards and 300 kilonewton load, which is downwards. This angle is 60. So let me find out D cos 60 will be equal to the so total vertical load unbalanced one is 350 take away 300 this is 50 kilonewton cos 60 is under root 3 over 2 50 into 2 over under root 3 so this will give me 57.7 kilonewton let me first of all take moment at g taking moment at g it will be t times h plus these point loads they will create moment as well with the first one will be l plus 2l plus 3l into 100 so each load will have lever arm to g and that is equal to anti-clockwise moment that is created by the vertical load which is 350 times from g i will have these four panels and half of that so i will say 4.5 l and if you simplify this you will get value of t as equal to 1.5 75 minus 600 times 2 over under root 3 and if you simplify this further you will get 1126 that is intention in the same way you will find out moment at j so moment at j first of all it will create that is this point over here so it will be c times h plus these loads they will create a moment 100 so it will be 100 into if i draw this line for the first one it is l over 2 the second one it will be 3 l over 2 and third one will be 5 l over 2 so l over 2 plus 3 l over 2 plus 5 l over 2 that is equal to load generated by reaction this is 350 times the distance between j and b is i think 4l so that would be 4l and if you simplify all this you will get value of c as 10 nine seven kilonewton so you have tension one one two six you have compression one zero nine six and you have force in diagonal which is 57.7 so our final answer is one one two six so our final answer is one one two six in tension and th this is our maximum load let me now move on to the next question which is a crane structure so all diagonals in this crane structure pin jointed are inclined at 45 degrees what is the force in member a b this time we have to find out force in this member a b and 100 kilonewton is applied at the end and there are four options if you want to have a go at this question pause this video now and click on this link to take the quiz or scan this barcode now if you have a look uh, at this structure there's a lot of uh, stuff going on on the left so what i will do i will simply take a free body cut over here and the distance between b and this point is 8 l so if we isolate this you will see that at top we have compression bottom we have tension and diagonal is inclined at 45 degrees a hundred kilonewton uh, load is applied d sine 45 will give me the 
vertical load. The entire load is balanced by this diagonal. So the direction has to be vertical because we just have downward load here. So D sine 45 will be equal to 100. D is the diagonal where we want the force. Sine 45 is one over under root two. And from here we can work out force in diagonal as 141 as simple as that so you can get these kind of simple questions as well so the force in this member ab is equal to 141 kilo newton so our correct option is option a which is 141 kilo newton in tension tension because these arrows are pointing away from the joint you can watch this entire series and prepare for i structure structural behavior course by going to this url or simply scan this barcode also, you can download the copy of slides by going to this URL or simply scan this barcode.